Hey, it's pleasure to be with everybody. This is Sports Night News. I'm Joe Borkin. This is going to be the first NHL draft profile as we look at a rare, very good player in the top 15 of most people's rankings, if not top 15, top 20. Marco Casper, who's out of Austria. So that's why a guy being this good in the draft is so rare um, coming out of Austria. You don't tend to see that very often. But he's ranked 18 by some consolidated ranking, 12th by EliteProspects.com, and their draft ranking is superb. Uh, 18th by FCH Hockey, 17th by Bob McKenzie, who's one I really like going by, 8th by Sportsnet as a whole, uh, 18th by Dober, and then some that I don't look at as much that have them a little bit lower, and then 12th by ISS Hockey as well, and he was ranked 5th by NHL Central Scouting for the EU Skaters. The only thing that knocks him is he needs to grow into his body a little bit more for being a 6'2 frame. He's only, I believe, 185, so obviously you want to round that out more, um, but he's definitely had experience. Um, the, the word on him is um, he played at the junior level. This is a quote. He played at the World Juniors, but barely touched the puck because they played Finland and Canada, said one scout. I think he goes high because he has that motor and competes like hell. He goes to the front of the net and has sneaky skill. Every shift, he does something positive. He has a high compete who helps you in the playoffs. So he seems like one of those guys that's at least going to be a prototypical, perfect third center. Now, are you, is picking a prototypical great third center as a floor something good in the top 15, that's a debate for everybody else to have. That's not something I'm having in this video. We're just breaking down what the player is. But he seems like he's going to be very good defensively, very good offensively, and then continue to grow in the faceoff dot. All he has to do is kind of grow into his 6'2 frame and become bigger, a little bit bulkier, and then he'll be good at the NHL level because he also has good skating speed, a high um, IQ as well, and he's a guy... That it that seems like honestly, if the Flyers did trade back my team, it seems like a guy that John Tortorell would fall in love with and have a crush on because he's go, good two way already. He just needs time to develop. He's probably not going to be in the NHL until he's at least twenty one. He's eighteen now. He's not going to be one of those guys that comes up right away. The Flyers keep the fifth and bring up Juracek. Juracek will probably be up by nineteen at the very latest, if not right away next season, which I think he would still be eighteen then. But Casper's uh, a guy that'll take a little bit in the NHL to adjust to playing in North America full-time, but it seems like over time he's at least going to be a very, very good 3C, but it seems like his peak is going to be a good 2C because of how good he is defensively, how good he is at skating on both ends, how good he is at getting to the net front, and like uh, the scout said um, in the Hockey Writers Magazine, I got that out from, by the way, definitely recommend subscribing to them, and definitely recommend checking out Elite Prospects too for their scouting book, but um Casper's a guy that just seems very fluent on the ice. He doesn't have to touch the puck to be effective. He's one of those guys that's effective behind the scenes, and those guys are not the always easiest to find. It's a lot easier. It's not easy to find, but it's easier to find guys that are very effective on the puck. Finding guys that are at 18, immensely effective, and he, almost elite off the puck is something that's hard to find. That's why I feel like Tortorella would like him, but the Flyers obviously have a top five, and they're not going to take a risk, I think on somebody like that then, but if they do, in the rumors, my team trade back, I could see somebody like them getting him. I could see the Wild definitely being interested in a guy like Casper if he's there at their pick. A very good two-way player. He would make sense to kind of fit into that Wild system. Obviously, if somehow he's there for a team like Colorado, those teams are definitely interested. I could see Pittsburgh even have an interest in him, add more defense, but still speed and offensive effectiveness to the mold. He seems like a guy that would fit in there as well. So there's a lot of teams that I think would want his services. This has been a quick NHL draft video on Marco Casper, the good speedy 6'2 forward that just has to grow into his frame a little bit more. And then it seems like he'll be a very good player, probably the best ever out of Austria. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Please subscribe down below. Above the EGG widget to keep the channel growing. Enjoy the offseason and enjoy the Stanley Cup. Peace out, everyone.